The police launched a homicide inquiry into the deadly fire at Loafer's Lodge Hostel in Wellington, which claimed at least six lives and left 11 others unaccounted for. They treated the fire as arson, but did not reveal why they suspected it was deliberately lit. They also investigated whether there was any link between the fatal fire and a couch fire that occurred two hours earlier outside the hostel. One of the people they interviewed was a convicted arsonist who was staying at the hostel when the fire broke out. He had posted on social media that he was inside the building and escaped by jumping out of a window. He denied starting the fire and said he did not know why the police were questioning him. The police later arrested him after finding evidence that linked him to the fire. They searched his room and found a lighter, a can of petrol and a note that expressed his anger and resentment towards the hostel owner and staff. He had been evicted from the hostel a week before the fire for causing trouble and damaging property. He had returned to the hostel on the night of the fire to take revenge on those he blamed for his situation. He was charged with six counts of murder, 11 counts of attempted murder and one count of arson. He pleaded guilty to all charges and was sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum non-parole period of 25 years. The judge said he showed no remorse for his actions and had caused immense suffering and trauma to the victims, their families, and the community.